Ladies and gentlemen, I bring to the podium the 10th president of the University of Guam, Dr. Robert A. Underwood. When I start this, half a day. Well, it's a pleasure and an honor to be with you here this afternoon, and I want to recognize all of our distinguished guests, Lieutenant Governor Tenorio, members of the Guam Legislature, members of the CNMI Legislature, and of course, uh, the Admiral. Appreciate your attendance here. Buenos dias todos hamzu, colonia hamzu, ni man para farma presenta certificu, diploma, if you know English, pa guna bonito na ani. It's a beautiful day to get a diploma. All right? All right. Especially here, especially here in this venue of dreams and the fulfillment of potential, the University of Guam. On behalf of the University of Guam, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all of you. Feliz Pascua, Bibo Año Nuevo, para Hamzo, Zani Familia Mizo, Zani Guinai Zan Mizo, Malagayong Pasco. You're a smart group of graduates. You're a good looking group of graduates. And you're a unique group of graduates. Now, I know that you're smart based on the number of awards and presentations and projects that you have worked on during your time here at the University of Guam. And I know you're good looking because I have pretty good eyesight. And you're definitely unique because you are the first graduating class for a new name for this semester, Fanutsanan. Now, you have it easy because next semester is Fanyumnakan. And they're going to have a hard time saying that. Harder to say, but you will never forget either one. And we should never forget to honor the people of this land. Itautautano, Imansamuru. It is their name and their genius that we honor in this place, Gwini Giyuni Betsedat Guahan. Now, most of you are uncertain about your future. I was just talking to a couple of graduates uh, earlier today. You're not sure what you're going to be doing next, but I know and you know that you're ready to take those challenges on. You're ready to engage the world. You're ready to meet adversity. Knock on closed doors, break down barriers, reach your potential, make your mark here in Guahan, in your home island or wherever you go. And you do so not because the degree that you have earned here today has given you job skills or specific levels of training. The world is changing so fast, most of what you know today will be obsolete in five years, maybe three. Maybe it already is obsolete. But what should never change and what you should take from the University of Guam are your attitudes, your values, your capacity to think, your ability to communicate, your problem solving, your creativity, and your triton spirit. Amongst the most important set in these set of skills and qualities our attitude and values. Do you know who you are and how you should treat others? And do you know what you stand for? Let me remind you of the old saying, if you don't know what you stand for, you will fall for anything. We all know what we can't stand. We can't stand dishonesty. We can't stand a lack of integrity. We can't stand a lack of commitment. And we should stand up to those things when we confront them. We should be courageous, willing to take risks, but only in the name of something greater, a reflection of our inner self and our greater self. Last month, I visited Hong Kong and Macau for an academic conference on underwater cultural heritage. I took the opportunity to visit two Triton alumni who graduated over 30 years ago. One presides over an empire of clothing factories that generated over a billion dollars in sales last year. He is now running to be a member of the Chinese parliament in Beijing. 
The other provides over a social service network that operates a school for children of migrant workers, Manomku with Alzheimer's, food services, libraries in a society that controls reading materials. He manages 1,000 employees and 500 volunteers. Who knew that the Big G could be in the Chinese parliament representing Hong Kong or assist the children of immigrants with an uncertain future in Macau? There's already a Triton in the U.S. Congress. There's a Triton who's an ear, nose, throat specialist <clears throat> here in Guam. There are Tritons running businesses. There are Tritons sitting in the legislature. There are Tritons who are generals in the U.S. Army and Tritons who are principals. And even the president of Guam Community College is a Triton. <laughs> now, this is the legacy that is presented to you. This is your inheritance and, in many ways, your challenge. These two Tritons next door to each other in Hong Kong and Macau don't know each other, except that they are connected through UOG. They didn't know what their future had in store for them when they sat in a gown similar to yours today. They didn't learn how to run factories or recruit volunteers in Cantonese here at the University of Guam, but they did learn attitudes and they did have values and they learned something about responsibility and commitment and problem solving. And that's what you have today. My challenge to you is to seize this moment. The word of the year in the year 2017, according to Oxford Dictionary, is youthquake. Youthquake, that's the word of the year. This is the phenomenon created by young people to shape politics worldwide. This is your year, and this is your opportunity to create earthquakes, large and small, to challenge the status quo, to not let elected officials shortchange you or your education. Do not let alternate facts and misrepresentations carry the day. Bring integrity and honesty to the spirit of concern for others in everything that we do. You have the opportunity to create earthquakes, youthquakes, triton quakes, everywhere in Hong Kong, in the Pentagon, in Hagatnya, in Adaloop, in Pingalap, in Saipan, in Pagan, in the Marianas Trench, underwater, and on land. Everywhere we go, and everywhere we have yet to be, and as always, we will stand up proudly and say, Biba UOG! Biba UOG! Biba UOG! Biba! Biba UOG! Biba! 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 Bi